Hello, Scott Acton, Power Max here. Today, we're going to be discussing DSP and quadcopters. Right, Cockburn? I think he said yes. Let's get to it. So inside the flight con <laughs> So inside the flight controller, you have a huge variety of sensors. You've got magnetometers, accelerometers, gyroscopes, a compass, a GPS, barometer, the list just goes on and on. It's the flight controller's responsibility to fuse all of these sensors together and govern the speed of all four motors. Now, of course, one of the limitations of using one of these little micro MEM sensors is that they're really sensitive to vibration. Now, if you're pulling it at some sampling rate, FFS, and if the quadcopter motors are rotating faster than that rate, you can get a phenomenon called aliasing. So needless to say, the vibration from the quadcopter motors is, is particularly bad. We want to eliminate it as much as possible. One way to achieve this is to simply soft mount the flight controller, and this will mechanically isolate the vibrations from these propellers to the flight controller. All right, so for this mini project, we're gonna use this Arduino Mega, as well as this MPU9250 IMU. Specifically, we're gonna use the data from this IMU, take the FFT of it using my own algorithm running on the Arduino, and then send that data over to the computer and display it. And this will give us the live spectral content of the propellers on the quadcopter. So here, I've got the FFT. You can see that there's really not much going on, and that's of course because the motors aren't even armed yet. There's a large DC offset, and that's just due to the gravity. As I rev up the propellers, you'll see that there's more and more noise as, as the speed of the propellers increases. You'll also see that there's a lot more high frequency content closer to the center as well. So here you can see that there's a really strong spike, right around 50, 60 hertz. And that's about what I would expect, judging by the sound of the propellers. As we uh, increase and uh, achieve liftoff, uh, you can really see the, um, the periodicity and the noise. Now it's actually kind of unexpected. I was expecting a lot more, um, I don't know. I was expecting four discrete frequencies, uh, but this looks way too periodic. Anyway, I just thought this would be interesting to show. So um, I'll just go ahead and fly around until my camera runs out of battery. All right, I think that concludes the video. So we learned a lot of really cool things. We got to see what the data from the uh, accelerometers looks like and uh, the, what the spectral content is. Anyway, see you next time.